Hello, New Prospect. Welcome to PTB 2022 from March the 12th, 2022. Hope you're doing well today. And I uh, want to thank uh, Pastor Drew and Pastor Jay for the past two weeks of uh, uh, leading us in these uh, PTBs. And I hope that these have been uh, beneficial to you in your own walk with Christ and um, learning this, this discipline of not just prayer, but uh, praying God's words back to him. So uh, I know that it's been a uh, a blessing and a benefit to, to me in my own walk, and I hope it has been for you as well. So uh, our text for today uh, that we're going to be looking at, we got Exodus 23, right in the heart of what we would call the Book of the Covenant in the Book of Exodus, where uh, God is uh, at Mount Sinai forming a covenant relationship with this people that he has just rescued out of Egypt in the Exodus. Uh, then we have John 2, a uh, very important text in the Gospel of John that uh, will perhaps talk about here in a minute, John uh, telling us about Jesus's first miracle, the miracle of Cana, uh, and some other stories as well that are important to understanding uh, who Jesus is. And of course, uh, we even see this, I think, in, in that chapter where uh, John's entire purpose is to help us to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and believe we have life in his name. Uh, John 20, 31, gives, John gives his purpose there, and he's definitely fulfilling that purpose in John 2. Uh, Job uh, 41 is our next text, and that's a great text as well, because uh, Job here is uh, uh, encountering God as uh, really starting in uh, the last part of here of, of the book of Job. We see these final chapters of Job. Uh, Job, who's been requesting an audience of God the whole entire time, finally gets one, and God's a little bit more than uh, I think he bargained for. God reveals his sovereignty, uh, reveals his character. And this, of course, for a man like Job, who have gone through so much struggle, this is what ultimately uh, satisfies him. Uh, it's a, the book of uh, Job is one uh, where Job is searching for, for wisdom in his, in his situation, and he, found, he certainly finds it here in these last few chapters. And then finally, uh, in 2 Corinthians 11, we have uh, Paul defending his apostleship. So, um, uh, pretty significant text in Second Corinthians as well. So I thought that uh, we would just kind of um, hit some of the high notes for each of these texts today in, in our prayer. Uh, and so uh, to do that, let's, let's just go to the Lord in prayer right now. So Heavenly Father, we are thankful uh, that uh, you are the God that you claim to be in Scripture. And as we read, Father, of your greatness and glory in the book of Job, uh, that there is none who can stand before you, uh, that there is uh, no power in this world that is greater than yours. Uh, Father, it reminds us of your sovereignty and greatness. Uh, there is no one who saves other than you, uh, and there is nothing that is found in the whole of the heavens that is not yours, as verse 11 in chapter 41 of Job says, and Father, help us to be like Job, that even though we go through these difficult circumstances of life, um, we know that circumstances change, but you do not. And so, Father, help us to find our rest and our comfort and our peace uh, and our assurance and our faith, grounded not in the changing circumstances of this world, uh, not in the, uh, the things that are here today and God tomorrow, but in the everlasting God, uh, the, the God revealed in Scripture, the God who revealed himself even uh, to Job here uh, in these final chapters. We thank you that you are that God. Father, we also pray uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and we pray with full belief and confidence in him, uh, even as he uh, manifested his glory back at that first miracle of Cana, we, Father, know that uh, his glory was manifested here on this earth as he lived that perfect life and as he uh, died the death that we deserve. Uh, so, Father, help us to, uh, even as John encourages here, uh, to believe in his name. And that, Father, we know means not just believing intellectually in who Jesus is, but May our life be an expression of that belief. May we, um, may we believe in the promises to such an extent that we live our life with complete devotion uh, to him. And Father, we know that uh, he manifested your glory in so many other ways as well. 
uh, and that he knows, even as John claims at this, this last part of the, the chapter in John 2, he knows us. And what a comfort that is, that he knows uh, what is in us. Uh, but it also, Father, is uh, somewhat sobering uh, to understand that Christ knows us so well. Uh, Father, help us to, um, to submit to him. And Father, help us to live our lives with that knowledge that uh, Christ is omniscient of all things. And he, um, he is one who knows us, knows our weaknesses, uh, knows our struggles. Uh, and Father, help us to lean and devote all uh, to him. Father, we thank you that we have examples like that of the Apostle Paul, who, who did just that, who gave his life uh, to uh, be completely devoted uh, to you and to Christ, uh, even as he encouraged these Corinthians to live their life with purity uh, and simplicity and devotion to Christ. Uh, help us to do the same. And Father, help us to be willing to be like Paul. Uh, to devote all, uh, even, if that, even if it costs uh, to Christ, uh, even if it costs us um, comforts, even if it costs us resources, even if it costs us, uh, even if it costs us, uh, even, even if it costs us our very lives, help us to take up our cross daily and follow him. And Father, as we read in the uh, back again in the, in the book of Exodus. Uh, Father, we recognize that as we read of this covenant that, the, that you were making with this people, uh, we also recognize that you brought us in the covenant relationship with you uh, through the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as a covenant people. And it was through the, the blood of the sacrifice of Jesus that we'll read even in the next chapter in Exodus that we know uh, that we have that access to you. Uh, Father, help us, even as Moses encourages these people uh, in the Exodus, help us not to uh, love the world or the things of the world, to make covenants with those things and to show devotion to those things that are in the world around us, but help us to devote ourselves uh, to Christ. Father, may that be uh, our rallying cry. May that be our chief characteristic as a church, even as we talked about uh, this past week and um in our sermon and Deuteronomy six, help us to uh, help us to to fully devote ourselves to Christ, such that we are defined by the confession: Christ is Lord. We thank you for this time together in prayer. I thank you for our church, uh, for each individual member, uh, for the work that you're doing among us, and help us to live our lives uh, knowing who you are, knowing who Jesus is, knowing who we are in relationship to you. And help us to live in light of those facts. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We have a wonderful rest of the day on this day, March 12th, 2022.